Hey there toy enthusiasts! Welcome back to Toys That Made Us Happy! Today we have a special treat for you, we are going to review these SH figures of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Bandai, well previously, I did review about TM and Teen Enderoid, and this time, let's review these figures, stay tuned to know more about these figures, and its detail as well, well, before we begin, I would like to encourage everyone to subscribe my channel, as I will do a lots of review on my collections and future hauls as well. Thank you for your time to watch my other videos, I am really appreciated and please comment your thoughts, so that I could keep in touch with everyone. Alright then, let's review them together. Let's begin with Donatello. Wow, this is amazing. He's included a slice of pizza, an alternate strip, an alternate head, six interchangeable hands and bow staff at his back. Donatello or usually called as Donnie often create new gadgets for his brothers, not mentioning their vehicle as well. In the other universe, Donnie will create a very high-tech gadgets and weapons which way more advanced than other inventors. It would be cool if he has other gadgets besides pizza. What do you think? Please comment them below. Okay. Let's take a closer look on this figure. Wow. This Donnie looks awesome. Everything is painted smoothly and as far I see. But there is a mismatch color at his shell. Other than that, everything looks great with smooth finish. His feet is like made of die cast parts as it feels cold when you touch it. His bow staff is sculpted perfectly like a real weapon. That's so cool. With all these accessories, you make him pose any position you want. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. This is Michelangelo. Wow. He looks amazing. He's included a pair of nunchucks posing version, an alternate strip, an alternate head, six interchangeable hands turtle rope, and another pair of nunchucks at his back. Michelangelo are usually called as Mikey. Always wants to have fun and likes to play with his skateboard. Unfortunately this figure does not come with his skateboard, but it would be better to have one right. What do you think? Please comment them below. Alright then, let's take a closer look on this figure. Wow, this Mikey looks awesome. Everything is painted smoothly and as far I see. But there is a mismatch color at his shell same as Donnie. Other than that, everything looks great with smooth finish. His feet is also like made of die cast parts. 
as it feels cold when you touch it. His nunchucks chain is made of metal not plastic. With all these accessories, you make him pose any position you want. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. This is Raphael. Wow! He looks amazing. He's included a kunai, a ninja star dust, an alternate strip, an alternate head, six interchangeable hands, and a pair of sai at his back. Raphael are usually called as Raph, always wants people to appreciate of what they have done to stop criminals. In other universe, he will be a vigilante by himself to help people from daily criminals at night time, although the rest of his brothers disagree of his action. Despite of his stubbornness, he cared about his brothers and also afraid of heights. Well then, let's take a closer look on this figure. Wow, this Raph looks great. Everything is painted smoothly in this far I see. But there is a mismatch color at his shell same as the others. Other than that, everything looks great with smooth finish. His feet is also like made of die cast parts as it feels cold when you touch it. His kunai and ninja star dust are sculpted perfectly like a real weapon. Even the detail at his side is awesome. Splendid. With all these accessories, you make him pose any position you want. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. This is Leonardo. Wow! He also looks amazing. He's included a sore cover, an alternate strip, an alternate head, six interchangeable hands, and a pair of katanas at his back. Leonardo are usually called as Leo, tries his best to keep his brothers in one team. There is also changes of his attitude in other universe, but his leadership skills will always come when time in need. Apart from that, Leo actually worries a lot especially when he is unable to tame his brothers. With an encouragement from his master or also his dad, Splinter, he learned to be a better person to lead his team. Okay. Let's take a closer look on this figure. Wow. This Leo looks great. Everything is painted smoothly and as far I see. But there is a mismatch color at his shell same as the others. Other than that, Everything looks great with smooth finish. His feet is also like made of die cast parts, as it feels cold when you touch it. His katanas are sculpted perfectly like a real weapon. The sore cover looks awesomely detailed as well. Splendid. With all these accessories, you make him pose any position you want. Okay. Let's proceed with the next one.
Next, it is the pop-up pizza play set by Playmates. From this view, it looks like a normal size pizza box. Let's see the surroundings before opening it. Wow! There is a TMNT picture on my left-hand side. It is pretty neat and detailed with red checkered box at the corner side which depicts a pizza box. Well, the rest of the side are painted in white, giving the pizza box effect. Wow, check out the back of the box. There is a sore cover on it, and it looks super detailed. By comparing the sore cover from Leo's one, it looks bigger and much proportion than Leo's one. By comparing the detail, Leo's one looks much better. Well, what do you think? Please comment it below. Okay. Let's open this pizza box. Wow! It's 18 inches tall. This playset is amazing. You can use it as fighting scene or other form of poses with any figures, not just TMNT figures. Behind the tunnel door, there is a pizza launcher with four pizzas. It's quite rigid and I don't prefer to take it out as it may break off or something. There is also the main door that can open freely. The soar has the flip-up mechanism to topple out the figure who stands on it. There is a lamp post flipper. Oh, almost forgot. It has stickers to paste into the playset. However, I am not good at pasting stickers, and thus, I just keep it as it is. Alright then, let's wrap up. In conclusion, all these figures are fantastic addition to any action figure collection, especially those who prefer SH Figuarts line. The attention to detail, articulation, and included accessories make it a must-have for fans of the SH Figuarts or TMNT fans. And also the playset is awesome to pose your figures. Don't miss out on these amazing figures. That's it for today's review, folks. If you are first time watch on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell for more awesome toy reviews. And also if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to Toys That Made Us Happy for more awesome toy reviews, unboxings, and assembly guides as well. Until next time, and remember, keep collecting and stay happy. Goodbye.